Hello, cheek, cheek, cheek. Hi, it's Trixie Mattel, and today we are turning into Dr. Manhattan. Hi, it's Trixie Mattel. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am a world famous drag queen with a passion for makeup artistry. We never do anything masculine on this channel, probably because I myself am not a very masculine person. I have all the worst traits of being a man with all the worst traits of being a woman. I really, I really embody the worst parts of any gender expression. So I prefer to dress like a beautiful, gorgeous woman. However, I recently read this novel called Watchmen. Um, like anything I fall in love with, I'm about two decades too late. It's usually something the whole world loved a lot. When I read this book, I loved it so much, so much. And I called David and said, oh my God, I read this book, Watchmen, I loved it. He goes, yeah, it's considered one of the greatest graphic novels of all time. I was like, do people know about this book? And he was like, yes. On the way back from Australia, Kati told me to watch the Watchmen series because it was available on the TVs on like the Delta flight or whatever. And I watched the whole series on the flight and I was obsessed. I came home, I bought this book at Golden Apple Comics here in Hollywood. I took it and I, I walked in and said, do you guys have a copy of The Watchmen? And they were like, yes. Come. Like it'd be like me asking for Twilight or something at a Barnes and Noble. So I went and bought this book. I took it home. I started reading it. I, I you guys, I, I've never read a comic book like this. I used to read Betty comics, but that's it. I've never read like real, real comic books. This worked my p out. What kind of comics did you say you used to read? Betty. Of Archie fame? Yeah. Oh, if you guys don't know, Brandon has a very impressive collection of Archie comics memorabilia. So if you ever see Brandon at a meet and greet, he does accept Archie gifts. Brandon's collection for a while was on display in a library actually. So don't get starstruck. I'll start the look, but basically the look I'm gonna do today is Dr. Manhattan. There's a character in this book who is basically a god. He's all knowing, he's all being, he can manipulate matter, he's invincible, he doesn't age. And I was like, this is him, Dr. Manhattan. But he's bald, he's male, and he's blue. And I was like, okay, I'm bald. Why don't I do this, right? So I think today we're gonna turn ourselves into Dr. Manhattan. I mean, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. I have some products here and I, I haven't done a look like this in a while, like a full body paint. Normally when I do a full body paint, like when I did the campaign for the Summer of Love blush collection, one time I dressed up with Juno Birch on this channel. I love painting myself a whole new color, but I've never done it like in a male way. So I guess let's see what happens. So I have some MAC Chroma Cakes here. These are water-based and I use these in the the Summer of Love campaign and I, I painted my whole body pink for that sucker. And then when I did the cover of my full coverage album, that is Chroma Cake, whole body. I got completely naked and painted my real body. Fina Barbatel helps me. It was a, a very intimate, <laughs> intimate moment. But I know that this is gonna work better if my skin's a little juicy. So this is the BFF Best Friends Forever Hydrating and Brightening Primer Mist from Wet n Wild. I didn't use this when it came out, but I like my my face kind of juicy and I'm, I mean I'm gonna be painting my whole upper body today so all right so now I have my shirt off before anybody gets a remember that this is a family channel thank you I guess I'm just gonna start covering myself I have high def cyan cyan in chroma cake which I think is pretty close to what I want to do here so I mean it's nice to not be doing drag like I don't have to um cover my brows oh <laughs> all right we're in it Let's let's start doing this. So basically, I mean, from what I understand, because I read Watchmen and I watched the film and I watched the series, basically Watchmen is a superhero comic book about America's relationship with superheroes. And it basically asks the question, what if superheroes were real? Like what if masked Avengers existed? What would that be like? And what problems would that present to society? You know, in comic books, oh, this looks good, I think. I mean, in comic books, I think they sort of present, um, superheroes in general are supposed to be sort of like moral compasses, but something that Watchmen did that is very interesting. And again, I've never read a comic book except Betty. And Betty's not exactly, you know, asking heavy moral questions. Betty's like, oh my God, I have two dates for prom. You know what I mean? That's her biggest problem. I mean, I guess that's why I relate to her because I'm also blonde and gorgeous and everyone wants to be with me. So in Watchmen, it was like, well, what if we did have like beings who were like dressing up 
and going out into the world and doing what they thought was the right thing. And I mean, one of the big questions is that like everybody has their own idea of what is like right and wrong in the world. And so the problem would be that like you could have masked Avengers kind of doing their own thing because they feel that's what's right. And there's a whole lot that goes into it. I mean, you guys can read the book if you want. It's like, it's an alternate timeline where, you know, basically the world has a doomsday clock that's ticking down to nuclear meltdown. America participated in and won the Vietnam War. Vietnam is the 51st state. It's a, There's a whole lot of like historical reimaginings, let's say. But anyway, Dr. Manhattan, I guess I'll tell you about him. He is the only in this world, in the world of Watchmen, the only bona fide superhero. So everybody else is like, oh, I'm really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, or there's a character where her mom was a superhero, so she's a superhero. But Nobody really has bona fide powers except Dr. Manhattan. And Dr. Manhattan is a physicist and he gets locked in a machine that like completely disintegrates him basically. And he comes back reformed with like mega superpowers. Like he knows everything from the past, the future to the present. He basically knows everything of what's gonna happen. He can teleport, he can, I mean, make you like disintegrate with like a snap of his fingers. I mean, he's pretty badass. And I guess I was just in love with him because one of the interesting things they talked about was, oh, well, if you were this powerful, how would it affect your relationship with your own humanity? How would you relate to other people if you basically existed as a god? And even further, this is looking really good. People are so corrupt, like how would America or other places leverage you if you were a bona fide superhero? Like how would they use you as a weapon? It kind of reminded me of Final Girl Support Group that I read a few months. Shut up, Brandon. It reminds me of Final Girl Support Group. And basically that book was about like, well, what if the final girl in horror movies was a real person? In Watchmen, it was like, well, what if there were in like the 40s, a big wave of masked Avengers? How would the world really feel about that? Like how long would people really put up with that? Would there be people who don't like that? Because again, if these masked Avengers are human beings, human beings are deeply flawed with their own agendas, their own Achilles heels, their own triggers and pasts. And it would basically be very flawed people asserting their interpretation of morality. Wow, this is really blue. Do you guys see how blue this is? I believe chroma cake is what they used in Wicked to turn <coughs> Alpha Green. Anyway, love the series, love the movie. And then the book, I mean, the book turned my out. I just, it, I, I never would have thought I would be somebody who read a comic book and enjoyed it. And I was, I was like, I couldn't stop reading it. Dude, in the back of my head, I'm gonna fucking be here all night. By the way, obviously makeup applications like this are easier when you have a hand mirror. This is the Trixie and Juno hand mirror. It's adorable. And I always feel like for something as utilitarian as a hand mirror, wouldn't you want the cutest version of it? I think this is gonna be good, but I don't know. So I'm gonna, this is boring. I'm gonna keep doing the back of my head, I guess. And I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when I come back. Alan Moore, I am so sorry if you're watching this. <laughs> I don't, I don't, it's Bloom, it's giving Blue Man Group, Blue Man Group. So this is a little, what is this? I think this is an elf paintbrush. It's supposed to be like a contour brush, but like, I don't know you guys. I don't know. I'm selling this condo, so I don't care if I ruin a bathtub tonight. I don't care what happens. Anything for the channel. This is a really amazing product, you guys. The coverage is like, I mean, you gotta, you gotta give it up. Look at that. I mean, look how fast that's covering. <laughs> Tickles. <laughs> Doing the hands. <laughs> Maybe I'll get drunk and go to the club like this. I don't know. This is so much more fun than drag makeup, you guys. I'm so sick of being gorgeous all the time. Watch, I'm gonna be, quit drag and become a cosplayer. We don't know why Dr. Manhattan's blue. I'll give you that. We don't know why he's blue. We do know that he can change color. There's a part in the book where he shows up for a TV appearance and they're like, oh, your blue's too light for TV. And then he magically goes darker blue right in front of them. But he's fierce. I mean, all, listen. All the other girls, good for them. Like Rorschach, you know, all them, we live. But I'm sorry, Dr. Manhattan lives on Mars. Like he has that girl. This is, if Alan Moore wasn't already like consciously detached from Watchmen, he would watch this YouTube video and be like, I am so done. The trickle down to disgusting little is painting himself blue on YouTube. It's not good. It's not right and it's not okay. I'm not gonna make it anyway. This is the equivalent of people just doing their little euphoria makeup. Do you guys think Dr. Manhattan's a pig bottom? I think Dr. Manhattan's a sloppy top. I mean, I'm not painting, I can't paint my own back. Okay, everyone, like we're not doing that. And I'm gonna paint my hands last because I have a lot more makeup to do. Make sure the back of my head is good. My assistant does my makeup part too. <laughs> Get in the frame, show them who you are. Brandon's here. <laughs> do I look like her? You know that this is gonna go south. Don't ask me how I'm gonna get this makeup off my back tonight. Don't even ask me that. I haven't thought any of this through. Sometimes in the world of making YouTube videos, if you get inspired, you just have to go for it. 
Something else interesting in Watchmen I liked, I'm like, oh, if superheroes were real, what are the comic books in Watchmen? And in Watchmen, all the comic books are about pirates. Superhero comics don't really exist. Kind of interesting. So I'm gonna take some of the white and it's gonna look really blue. I mean, it just is, it's gonna look really light blue. And I'm gonna start highlighting the face. I'm trying not to go too draggy with it. I really can't help it. But I think like, uh, you know, painting all one color is not really gonna work. It's not gonna work for me, babes. So I just gotta follow my real anatomy. I don't know. I don't have great anatomy though. Oh, that's looking better already, don't you guys think? Like I'm kind of bouncing the white wherever there would be like highlights. I'm highlighting my pecs. I'm gonna try to flex and follow it, but there's nothing really to, is that working? Am I just painting on breasts? Am I starting at breasts? I think I'm just painting on breasts. You guys, I'm so gay and I've been doing cross-dressing for so long. I don't know how to apply makeup for myself without looking feminine. Look at me just putting on breasts. I think I'm gonna see more of a like effect. Does that make my shoulder look bigger? No. I think I'm gonna see more of an effect if I just do some contour. So let's start to see what Mr. Manhattan here is serving for the contour tinta. So I now have a, uh, this is Marine Ultra. So, so far we're using white, we're using cyan and Marine Ultra, all of these. I have Marine Ultra here because I think this is gonna be how I basically contour. Landon Cider would probably be really good at this. Landon, if you're watching this, have you ever done a Dr. Manhattan makeup and did you do a good job? Does that look like a forehead? I don't know, let's just keep going. I feel like I need to make it like drag where I don't trust it until the end. Right now that just looks like a blue line on my forehead, but let's see what happens. Is that crooked? Oh God, you guys, you know, my symmetry skills are coming once again. Yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. I think that's okay, I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. Let's just keep trying. I think it's gonna be like drag where I have to basically do every contour of my face, you know? So let's do a square jaw. You know, it's weird to like contour under the jaw, but I guess that's what we're doing. Yeah, we're not doing drag. We're not doing drag. Oh, that's right. Ooh. Bitch, I'm gonna look like handsome Squidward. The sad thing is I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm gonna soften this up a little bit. Soften, does that read? Does that read? Is this ridiculous? Is this going south? I don't know, okay. Oh, I hate trusting the process. I feel like I tell you guys on this channel to trust the process and the way I'm just talking out of my ass because I don't know what I'm doing. But I have the anatomy. Why is this so hard for me? Like this is male anatomy. Why can't I paint on male anatomy? Dr. Manhattan has a better nose than I do. This looks crazy, you guys. I don't know if I'm succeeding at this. Actually, doesn't that nose look better? Like, don't you think the more contour I add, the better it's getting? Like, you can't just have contour in one place, you know? I think this is gonna work, actually. I think it's gonna work. Okay, all right, sure. So Dr. Manhattan has like really dark, very dark brooding eyes. I think we can create that using this dark blue. I think I need a little bit of black though, to be honest. I hope this works. I'm just copying a picture. If it doesn't work, you guys, please listen. We're trying new things on the channel, you know, like, and not everything works out. I'm just trying to be relatable and vulnerable by doing a makeup that doesn't work. Cause you guys have seen me slay everything so well the entire time I've ever done drag. Okay, his under eye is literally black. So I guess let's do black. I think this is gonna work actually. <laughs> oh no. I actually did oh, it no. myself. <laughs> no. You know what? No. No, you know what, we're not giving up. I'm not giving up, all right? This eyebrow needs to have a moment. This eyebrow has a, it starts in the middle like this. Because he looks kind of, you know, furrowed. I kind of think that's fierce, but I don't know. Do you guys remember at the beginning of the makeup when everything was going so well? I mean, this is what I'm going for. This is what I'm going for, which I think I'm doing. You know what, if this all flops, can you guys comment below where, at what point in the video it went south? Like, where did you stop believing in me? By the way, the way I thought I was gonna slay this is so embarrassing. I'm gonna lighten the upper half of this by setting this part with some blue shadow. I don't think it should be that dark. I have the Daytime Realness palette from Trixie Cosmetics and it has a gray in it called Cut the Cameras. So I'm gonna use this gray to set this part and just kind of like, I want the upper part of the eye to be lighter. I feel like in these situations when you're doing really weird stuff, you just need to commit and trust your knowledge a little bit. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work and everyone just watches you flop on the internet. No big deal. I think I'm gonna try to take this off and move it down because I think I put that too high. Like that already looks better. I think it just needs to be like, that's a lot better, I think. I gotta do a little more contouring though. That's the other thing. I gotta do a little more contouring. Like there should be a little dime here. Honestly, I just think that this should be softer in general. I think it's too hard of a line right now. That looks a lot better. I have an eyeshadow here from uh, CoverGirl. This is a CoverGirl exhibitionist eyeshadow. So let's use this to buff out some of these areas that are just like too weird right now. That's so much better. Oh, I'm saving it. I'm saving it. Listen, everything's possible. Everything's possible if you believe. 
you know? And I believe in myself. Powdering under the chin. It's dimension, dimension, dimension. What about titties? Does Dr. Can I make titties? Is that working? Oh, that is working. You guys, okay. I'm figuring this out very slowly. Thank you all for participating. Do you see it coming together now? It's looking better. By the way, I still have one eye on, love that. I'm honestly just trying to get this makeup to a point where when I call David, he doesn't laugh at me. Isn't that sad? Like that's that's my base level. So I'm gonna do this to this eye and I'll be right back. By the way, like how I started out so confident and you like how quickly this went downhill. Oh my God, why do I look so crazy? I don't have white eyes yet. I think that's part of why I look crazy right now. I need to get white eyes and I'll be okay. I also think I need to do some like, lining of the lips, like not lipstick, but the, the lips just need more dimension. Like painting around the lips. <laughs> now it's starting to look like a little mustache. Maybe I'm gonna this up. Maybe I just blend it out. Like maybe it's just softer, you know? That's better. That looks a little crazy. I'm gonna take that down a little bit. Let's look at Mr. Manhattan some more, shall we? I'm gonna turn this book blue. I think I made the upper eye a little too dark. <laughs> maybe I can lighten that a little bit. Yeah, like that should be lighter for sure. I think that's better. Little nose action, love it. Dr. Manhattan cannot have a crooked nose. <laughs> yeah, like more shading. You know, not just lines. Like I'm looking at a comic book, but it needs to be more shading. That's better. Like anywhere that the face would be shaded, I think I need to go blue and it's gonna get better and better. God, I was supposed to relax tonight. This is not relaxing. This is stressing me out. He does kind of have a little worry line. I think he needs a worry line. <laughs> oh no. Neck shading, that's a lot better. This is so bad, you guys. Everybody's gonna laugh at me. Is there a Dr. Manhattan like tutorial online? And it, does it absolutely slay? Like, am I really flopping? This is really crazy. I don't know if it's in a good way. Am I being too hard on myself? No, I tend to be somebody who gives myself almost too much credit. So I don't think I'm being too hard on myself. I think I made some, some bizarre choices here. Okay, so I'm gonna take uh, Weather Girl, which is a very light blue. I'm gonna do some highlighting with that because I also think that will help. See what I mean? I think that's helping to shape it. I'm afraid to go totally in with white. By the way, if you guys didn't get daytime realness, really cute little blue palette we did. You never know, we might be bringing it back. We have a white here. I'm gonna go in with some of this white. Is that, is that gonna be too white? Did I just f this makeup up? No, I think you just gotta commit, commit. It's Saturday night in Los Angeles, by the way. This is what I'm doing on a Saturday night. This could, the chin, that would make the jaw nice and the chin nice and wide, yeah. I don't know what I did to this nose, but it's really, it's on its own journey now. And I think we just all need to accept that this is my nose and this is who I am. Is it giving drag? It's starting to give drag. I don't know what I'm doing. It's just like gender bending at this point. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, well, we're moving right along. Um, we gotta do his little pew. Dr. Manhattan has this little thing on his forehead. It's probably a bigger picture than this, but did you guys see that? He's got this little circle thing on his forehead. What could I use? I wonder if I dip this in black and I go like this, will it come out perfect? Let's see. It's kind of risky though. Kind of risky what I'm about to attempt. I hope it doesn't up though. I think it'll work actually. Okay, we're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing. Please don't this up. Please don't this up. Please don't this up. Don't put it crooked. Not a bad, okay. Not great, not a bad start. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is go in with the pen and straighten it out. Oh, oh! This is so stressful, you guys. I don't think anybody out there can understand the stress that I'm under right now at this juncture. Okay. It's freehand too, you guys. Okay, you guys, you know what? I'm just gonna, I have it. I'm gonna cheat. I have a mirror here that sucks the table and I need this level of concentration. Everyone shut up. I can't even put my arms down because everything's blue. getting better. Have I made that worse? Then there's a little dot. Not bad, Beth. Now there's a little dot up here. Okay. <gasps> you guys, oh, I think I did a good job. I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I think that's actually pretty good, right? I don't know. Listen, honestly, I'm you guys, I don't claim to be a body painter. I do a very specific type of makeup on myself. I don't pretend to be good at any of this. I do think it's fun once in a while to push my skills though. But to be honest, I mean, a lot of people are way better makeup artists than me or I will ever be. And like regularly, I'm stunned by people's artistry. So I'm not surprised that this was really hard for me. I sort of feel like I could highlight to my jaw a little more. Take a little bit of this white. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Do you guys see that? I think that's a lot better. Square jaw. I feel great. Is it weird that I feel hot as Dr. Manhattan? 
Do you guys think Dr. Manhattan's hot? I think he's hot. Oh, <gasps> I think this looks good. The only part I'm not buying is I wish that this under, I gotta get a black eyeshadow. Oh, I got my little trusty palette from Tour. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that white and I just wanna highlight under the eyes a little more before we're done. In addition, I'm gonna go and impress black shadow into the part under my eye because it just doesn't look that black to me. Like that is so much better. Do you guys see the difference from that eye to that eye? What a difference. I think David's not gonna laugh at me. I feel like all my whole hope on this channel is that I do a good enough job that my own boyfriend doesn't ridicule me. Oh, and you know what else? I think Dr. Manhattan's eye has more shape. Sorry, I'm just like figuring this out as I go, you guys. This is what happens when I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna take this very light color. This is Weather Girl. And I'm gonna do the lid. I'm gonna dust a little bit of darker blue over that. It's a little too light for me. I'm trying to just like concoct a color that's not totally black, but not blue for the lid. Like, I think that's a little better. It's just a little more, I don't know, there's something better there. Do you know what I mean? Like his lid is not totally black. And he almost, I mean, if we're being that girl, he almost has like a cut crease, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't think it's gonna show up, to be honest. This whole upper area, I believe that I went too dark. I'm just gonna lighten that a little bit. I think like that's reading better than that. I don't know why the other side, the other side does not have to be totally black. I don't know, there's something very wholesome about this. It makes me think of like learning to do makeup and like struggling the whole time and not even knowing if I did a good job. That's how I feel today. I made some choice. <laughs> I made some choices with this look. Um, it's time to put on some contact lenses. Now I, you guys, roll the tapes. I used to wear bright blue contact lenses all the time, but I don't anymore. And I haven't worn like Halloween contacts in a very long time. I feel so happy and free though. I feel like I could do my whole body like this and go do, I don't know, this is so fun. I wanna be blue. Like this is cool. I wanna be a superhero. I actually think this looks good. Am I delusional? Does this look good? Am I, does this look good? <laughs> Let's try to put in some contact lenses. So these are white contact lenses. They really make me blind. But let's just try to get them in before they turn blue. They're not really as white as I want. I feel like I look like I, uh, <laughs> Dr. Manhattan just has like glaucoma. Ugh. By the way, if you guys have not seen the videos of Bob the drag queen trying to put contacts in. <laughs> so Miss Fame taught me this a long time ago. So if your Y is watering and you have makeup on, you can take your mirror and you can like just Take the Q-tip and roll it on the inside of the tear duct and the outside of the eye. You know what I mean? You just like go where it's gonna pull up and just do a little twist, twist, twist. And that's how she fixed it. I watched her do it once and I was like, wow. Miss Fame is a fabulous makeup artist. I miss Miss Fame on YouTube. Miss Fame, if you watch my videos, which I'm sure you don't, please come back to YouTube. You guys, this really blocks my vision. So I'm gonna try to do my hands here before we're done because I, listen, I'm never gonna do this again. So I want it to look really good. And like I said, I use this for a photo shoot. I've had to paint my hands before and it's really amazing how much it doesn't transfer. Nick, admit it. You are sitting here editing this video and you are surprised that it came out this good. Not that it's perfect, but you're like, I can't believe it came out at all. Just admit it. You guys, Nick hates to admit that I do well. Nick hates to, Nick hates to celebrate me. The environment that I put myself in with all these hostile people. How do I get contacts in when I have blue hands? I mean, how would you go dressed as, like, I can't even get in an Uber like this. Like, what do people do? I guess they don't do this. I gotta put the other one in. Lord help me. Please go in my eye. No! The contact is literally turning blue. Yes! Oh, oh I touched my wall. You guys, I just fell and touched the wall of my house and now it's blue. FaceTime David Silver. He's not even gonna pick up. No one cares. No one cares. I need a drink. Hello? Hello? No one can see me. Hello? Can you see me? Yes. I'm blind and you're not answering. Yes, I can see you. You're all blue. Do you love it? It's, you look like Dr. Manhattan. Yeah, it was so much work. Look, does it look good? Yeah. My whole goal in this video was that I could call you and you wouldn't think it was that bad and you'd laugh at me. But on the yellow background, looks good, right? Yeah, looks great. Watchmen. You wish I never would have read that book. <laughs> nerd. David called me a nerd. I had fun. This was really cool, difficult for me. Um, if there's anybody else bald you'd like me to dress up as, let me know. I love to dress up as bald people. Bald representation. I love bald people, bald women, bald babies. Everyone should be bald. And Dr. Manhattan is a, is a, is a, is a icon. I mean, the man who played Dr. Manhattan in the film as well as in the TV show, both of them are actual like models. So I probably look like Eleven from Stranger Things auditioning for Blue Man Group. And that's fine. Nick, I'm just gonna do some stills. 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 Nick, if you put this in the video, I'm gonna kill you. Anyway, this is, <laughs> I don't know. 
We try things on the channel. They're not always a good idea, but today I was challenged. I tried something different and the best part is I'm gonna ruin a bathtub getting out of drag. So thank you for joining me here today and um, see you next time. Goodbye.